Rangers have a very good problem right now that could turn disastrous if management or coaching doesn't handle this correctly. Um, we currently have three very good goalies on this roster. <laughs> we currently have three very good goalies on the roster and um, he's distracting me, oh my god. He's the star of this video right now. Anyway, um, when it's very clear that two of them are f the future and one of them is a legend, but um, let's get this straight. Um, the Rangers have three goalies and they need to get rid of one. It's very clear that Igor Shesterkin is the future number one goalie and it's hard to find him playing time right now because it seems they're trying to deal Georgiev. Now, we know what's going to happen. Georgiev is eventually going to get traded. What should happen is I think the Rangers should Ilya Kovalchuk, Henrik Lundqvist. If you don't know what I mean by that, I mean Kovalchuk was told you're not going to play, yada, yada, yada. Um, and they eventually terminated his contract. Now, with the the Rangers were to go this route, which I don't believe they will, then what you can do is just you could just sit him and hope he waves that no move clause. There would be teams that would take that take him if we retained fifty percent of his salary. But that's not what's going to happen. Georgiev is going to get traded, or hopefully will. Um, I'll get to the disastrous situation later in a second. Um, right now, it seems Toronto is linked to him the most, um, but the Rangers are asking for a lot. Um, according to Darren Drager, um, he doesn't even think Kasperi Kapanen is enough, and he's a legitimate potential top six forward, at least a middle six kind of guy. So that's very surprising to me. I don't know what the Rangers are expecting to get. I thought maybe a pick and a prospect, like a mid-round pick and a prospect would be enough. But right now, they're, they're asking prices a lot, which worries me because they could really fumble this whole situation. Um, it won't take long, probably, for someone to become unhappy. Um, and, and it's hard to keep these guys fresh. Um, if Gior, if uh, Shesterkin becomes unhappy, he has an out to Russia. He could leave. And he's your number one guy in the future. Management has to get this figured out and figured out soon. Because they just recalled Igor Shashirkin. He's missing games in the AHL. He started two games here. Um, he's been up for two weeks and he's played two games. Played very well, may I add. Um, they really got to get this done sooner rather than later. Um, or they're going to have to bring... Uh, call Shesterkin back down until they can figure out what to do with Georgiev in the meantime. Um, but they got to tread very carefully now. They, this isn't... Um, it won't take long for a goalie to become unhappy and that could tarnish a lot of things going forward in the future. Um, that's really it. That's I just wanted to get that off my chest. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I uh, will be shifting this channel to the state of the New York Rangers once every two weeks, a Ranger video once a week, and uh, I'm going to broaden things. I'm going to cover all NHL if there's pressing things that I want to get off my chest. Thank you for watching me and my dog Cooper. Also, in the link below, a lot of people have been asking about this jacket. It's actually really sick. Not like you guys on YouTube, but like just friends and family. Uh, my girlfriend got it for me at the NHL store in New York City. But in the link below on Amazon, you can find it for pretty much half its price for $70. Um, or about $70. So if you want to get it, link below. You'd be helping me out a lot if you go through that link. Um, until next time, let's go Rangers.